welcome to Sir Fan's Learning Challenge! Light is all around and it allows people to see things. It also has some strange effects causing phenomena such as rainbows in the sky or the distortion of objects underwater, something appearing closer than it actually is. How did it all happen? Refraction is the bending of light as well as sound, water, and other waves as it passes through a transparent substance into another. This bending by refraction allows us to create lenses, magnifying glasses, prisms, and rainbows. Even our eyes rely on this light bending. Light is slowed down as it passes through objects or materials. The slowing down of this light causes it to bend. As light passes from one medium to another, it bends either toward or away from an imaginary line perpendicular to the surface boundary called the normal line. Light will bend toward or away from the normal line depending on how the light changes its speed. If the light is passing through a medium boundary and speeds up, it will bend away from the normal line. Oppositely, the light will bend towards the normal line if it is slowing down as it passes the medium boundary. Since light is made up of all colors, each with its own wavelength, these wavelengths can be slowed at different rates, causing them to bend at different angles. Red has the shortest wavelength and thus bends the least, whereas blue or violet bends the most. Light can pass through water droplets in the air and become refracted as it travels from the air to the water and back. This allows the various colors of light to spread out and separate from one another, resulting in a lovely rainbow after a rainy day. Oh, so that's how a rainbow forms. But have you ever noticed if you look through a glass of water, the image behind the glass sometimes looks distorted? Light bends when it passes from one medium, air, into another medium of a different density, and that's the water. Refraction causes the straw to look bent and sometimes it can even appear to be broken. Light usually travels in a straight line to our eyes, but when the light goes through the water, it slightly changes direction. So as we look at the straw in the glass, the light from the top part of the straw travels straight to our eyes, whereas the part of the straw that's underwater has light that is refracted since it travels through the water before it reaches our eyes. Look how fantastic this phenomenon is! This bending by refraction makes it possible for us to have lenses, magnifying glasses, and even prisms. Even our eyes depend upon this bending of light. Without refraction, we wouldn't be able to focus light onto our retina to process images. That's why thanks to refraction, we are able to appreciate the beauty of life.